TSMC announced at the Open Innovation Platform OIP Ecosystem Forum in Europe that its COWAS packaging technology will achieve certification by 2027, introducing a version with 9x reticle size. This advancement will accommodate 12 HBM4 memory stacks, providing unprecedented performance enhancements for artificial intelligence AI, and high-performance computing HPC, chips. According to Tom's hardware, TSMC plans to launch the 9X reticle package in 2027, offering a space of 7,722 square millimetres. If certified in 2027, it is expected to be utilised in high-end AI processors between 2027 and 2028. The COWAS technology was first launched in 2016, initially featuring a package size of approximately 1.5 times reticle sizes. Today, COWAS has evolved to 3.3 times reticle sizes, capable of accommodating 8 HBM3 stacks. TSMC anticipates employing SOIC vertical stacking logic chips to increase transistor count and performance. For instance, within the 9X reticle package, customers can stack 1.6 nanometer process chips on top of 2 nanometer chips. It Home reported that every year, TSMC introduces new process technologies to meet customer demands regarding power, performance, and area PPA. For some customers, the 858 square millimetres currently offered by EUV lithography tools is not enough to support performance requirements. TSMC has committed to launching a 5.5x reticle package between 2025 and 2026, which will support up to 12 HBM4 stacks. However, ultra-large COWAS packages face challenges related to substrate size and heat dissipation. For example, the 5.5x reticle version requires a substrate measuring 100 by 100 mm, while the 9x reticle version exceeds 120 by 120 mm. The large substrate sizes will impact system design and data center configurations, particularly concerning power supply and cooling systems. In terms of power consumption, high-performance processors may reach several hundred kilowatts per rack, making liquid cooling and immersion cooling technologies more effective for managing dissipated heat. Article written by Oli Chang, Taipei, Charlene Chen, Digitimes Asia, December 2024.